First of all, give him that eye contact. Yeah, look deep in that soul. I feel the only thing you see in the world. And then when you're ready to go for the kiss, you just slowly grab that chain, and then you go in. Hey, Travis. Hey, Mario. Hey. hey. So let's just cut the bullshit, dude. How was it? What? Huh? <laughs> Well, no, how was the feeling like when you uh, when you made this video with Jeff? Knowing how it's gonna affect me. <laughs> was there a feeling of satisfaction in there? Not at all. Uh, no. No, of course not. No. I wanted you to <clears throat> be there. This <laughs> we fuck like we God, fucked. Damn, we, we fucked. fucked. Guys, we finally did it. We finally did it, man. We were okay. so mad about. We were the so mad. And I said this before. I, Travis and I, we had like this argument. There was some tension, and it finally manifested in just. Butt sex. Just butt sex. Yeah. I felt disconnected, so we reconnected. We did. Right at the booty. <laughs> <laughs> man, I haven't seen you since before Christmas. Or I know, something it's like so that. weird. It's, it's strange for us to go that much time apart, especially yeah. considering our whole lives are intermeshed, like a real relationship. I went to Germany during Christmas because I wanted to see my family. Then I wanted to come back to meet Travis for our birthdays on the 21st of January. And the United States of America declined me, bro. They just legit wouldn't let me into the country, you know? And they said I can only get in if I'm married or if I have a kids in the US. I was stuck and then Jeff happened to be very open and spontaneous to meet me in Mexico. Hola, welcome to mi casa. <laughs> Between the both of you, I have more of a physical attraction to you because you know I want my first kiss to be you. How did you feel when I was in Mexico with Jeff? Like swimming naked, showering naked, eating naked, sleeping naked. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much all at once. Just say one, one verb. Yeah. As a real human being, I felt jealous because you're my bromo. And then I felt jealous because Jeff is everything that I feel that I'm not. He's I so feel fun. It. He's so like awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fun and like just spontaneous. And I wish I could be that spontaneous. And you two are like cut from the same cloth. You're yeah. so similar and you yeah. can jump on a plane and go fly somewhere else. But for me, I have a lot of factors that affect that. Yes. And Jeff finally is giving you something that I feel that I cannot. I want to, but it's just not authentic for me. Yeah. So I felt insecure about that. I understand that. <clears throat> and then you add in this extra element that no one knows about. I've had a lot of health issues yeah. going on for the last year. I just wanted to be there, enjoy I it. I know, and you also wanted to be there for my music video, Bro Job, which is based on you. The whole yeah. bromance, the idea of a bro job, helping your buddies out sometimes. You know, we do that shit. We have the coconut already. When you're feeling sad, you just call me, I give you a hand job. It's all like, this okay. is just like base of our, you know? Whenever you're not physically together, your insecurities show more. Yeah, of course. That's what I felt. Yeah. Because I, on the other hand, also felt insecure while I was in Germany because I saw that you started making videos with Jeff. How was that for you? <laughs> Pretty good. And I felt a little bit like, oh no, now I'm being replaced by somebody else. Then I feel like I went to Mexico and I stole Jeff back. Dude, whenever I was in Mexico with Jeff and we watched the sunset naked, <laughs> I just knew. <laughs> Can we leave the memories out of this conversation? I'm trying to be productive here. <laughs> I looked down at Jeff's body, you know, like it's so nice. sunset, you know, <laughs> it was great, his whole silhouette with the blonde hair too, but then I also wish it'd be so nice just having just you laying there as well. Yeah, I picture like it's a mermaid for some yeah. reason. <laughs> no, <laughs> same, bro. On a rock. <laughs> But I only realized how much I'd been suppressing and holding in yeah, me when too. I first saw you. It's like you walked in the door of my apartment, we put on the tea, I was like, all right, motherfucker, let's do this. Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call? We really just dove into it and I suddenly felt like so much emotion Same. pouring out. Same. We started crying yeah. very quickly into yeah. seeing each other because I yeah. think it just a lot of circumstances were happening where we had to be okay with circumstances that we were handed and you also had a lot going on that I was really trying to be supportive of so I didn't want to make it about me so I just yeah. want to support you but at the end of the day I had feelings of feeling a little bit abandoned. And then on a side note, the one thing that did make me feel, uh, that was definitely a surprise is when I saw that you done the video with Jeff where you kissed him um, for the first time. Who do you want to be your first kiss? Me or Mario? I'm gonna be honest, Mario. <gasps> So you saw the kiss. I saw the kiss, yeah. 
How was that for you? You know, he was literally sitting on my side. Like if I overlay these fucking images right now, he's gonna be right here, you know what I mean? And I'm right here and you're like doing the yeah, jawline doing thing this, and stuff. And then it's like and, um, this and then yeah. this and, uh, <laughs> and all that. Yeah, the kiss, honestly, when I saw it, I was just like, um, I was just wondering, bro, like who did it better? Oh my god, <laughs> I wanted it to be me, I wish I was there, no, who did it better? I'm competitive bros, like um, ex-partners mm. or something, when they have, like, say they, they hook up with somebody else, the first question is, is his penis equally as big as mm. mine or, or smaller? Mm. Bigger side of an option. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, so then in terms of kissing, yeah. between you two, yeah. this is impossible, because with you, you have my heart. Mm -hmm. You've always had my heart, and yeah. like, when we kiss, it's... Something that it something happens here when Jeff and I kiss something happens here. Oh I see It's that. more lust based mm. for Jeff. I feel with that you, I feel that it's more like my husband with you There's definitely more of that like like deeper deeper just deeper. Just deeper. <laughs> yeah, well, you call me the other night, you call me your bro girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're my bro girlfriend, man. Yeah, yeah I'm, Jeff and him are bro bros, and I'm his bro girlfriend. But okay. nothing touches on our relationship. So, no. me kissing Jeff, or even if you kiss Jeff, it doesn't change Which our I dynamic. might do, because honestly, on a serious note, I think that kiss was tough. I said I wish it was a good kiss, you know what I'm saying? But I think, in a way, I think I got <laughs> You're saying more like, I'm like, I was thinking, like, we should go to Mexico or something, you know? And Jeff's like there in the sunlight, you know, and there's a sunset happening, there's some butterflies around him, you know? And then I fucking lean in, you know what I mean? And I make it fucking special for him. Also, why do you think Jeff kissed you first? Uh, my relationship with Jeff lent itself more <clears throat> towards that act. And because I'm gay, I think it felt almost like a mixture of more feminine and masculine energy. And I, I think the that. feminine energy is a little something more he's familiar with. He told me that. He said that I feel like more masculine to him and you're more of a feminine energy. Well, which I, I get. mean, I'm kind of... I'm, well, masculine. Just a tiny, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, if I had... If I... It's Jeff... Fuck! Ah, there's still a lot of anger inside me, okay. bro. If I imagine myself kissing Jeff and it's his first kiss with a guy, I would have felt a lot of pressure on myself mm. because I want to make it special for him. What if he doesn't like it? So that was in my head. So I was also oh. hesitant to kiss him. And it makes more sense for you to kiss him because you're more experienced with men for sure. So you're more like this guiding block. Beacon. Beacon of hope. It's like a halo around yeah. him. Welcome you <laughs> into the kingdom of the gays. <laughs> the kingdom of the gays, bro. That's Porta Vallarta. Now I can come in. He, you kind of like, you know, On the set trick, him up. You two, set him up. You set him up. And, and then I come in. I fucking just drive it home, fucking bro. take him out. Drive it home, bro. Fucking drive it home. Jeff? I'm coming for you, motherfucker! I'm coming for you, motherfucker! Get ready for it! What we're gonna do, you'll kiss Jeff, okay, just to clear the air. You'll kiss Jeff. Consensually. And then I'll kiss you, then Jeff will kiss me, and then we'll kiss each other. And, and then, then we'll figure we out. And then we fill out a rating, a sheet, and evaluating each other's kiss, and how we felt before, and how we felt 7. after. 7.5. <laughs> Contracted herpes. 4.3. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, I'm a, like, you're fucking obsessed with me, you know? In your apartment, there's legitimately three photos right now. There's one right here, there's one right here, and there's one back there. If you ever had a question about it, just know that I masturbate to you every single night. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you guys! Oh, stop it! Stop. I love us. <laughs> the fact that there was some sort of jealousy involved just shows how close we are and how much we care for each other. It's this fucked up thing, and it's like if both parties are communicating openly, even if it means addressing something that's uncomfortable but might potentially hurt the other person. But the right people in your life will always be receptive to that. Yeah. If someone makes you feel badly for speaking your truth, Absolutely. then that's someone that you probably shouldn't have Should in your life, life in the first, in the first place. place. So when Mario and I no, communicate. Can can <laughs> Get a sentence is <laughs> Open communication. 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 I love the way we communicate because even yeah. if it was some kind of conflict that came up a couple of days ago when Mario got back, we did it so well that it came from such a place of love that I would never call it a fight. Yeah. It's like a hi, I missed you. I felt hurt and I felt like I didn't get enough attention. I have a gift for you because we didn't see each other for my birthday. <gasps> oh, it's a taco my God. God. That's so thoughtful. You know Thank me so well. Porque yo sé que Taco Bell es tu no. Ya que eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahora. Porque ya sé que Taco Bell es tu restaurante favorito sí, en el del mundo. Supuesto, yo tengo muchas emociones. Deberíamos ir a Taco Bell usando este speedo desnudos. A Taco Bell oh. para OnlyFans. No hay que Taco Bell. Voy a hacer un video en OnlyFans. Mi verga es la Bell. Sí. Y yo la voy a tocar. Oh. 
<laughs> Thank you, that's actually so sweet. That's a perfect gift for me. I love you so much. So if you want to see me in the Taco Bell Speedo, go to Mario's OnlyFans. I'll be doing full frontal. <laughs> Should I kiss just to finish the video? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. Mario's. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh, I'm so good to be back, bro. Yeah, I feel so good.